So hello, so it's a bit strange I'm dressed like this, but this will make sense in a minute. So I've got a welding hood on, and when I start doing the main bit of the video, I'm going to flip this down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if a UVC light gives out x-rays. Now I believe it will, but not very many. Uh, but we're going to put that to the test, and I'm going to test it with three separate Geiger counters. The reason being that that way, you know, it should eliminate if one's picking up something that, you know, it actually shouldn't be. So I have got down here... The Kajo, the Therapy, and the Berek, if that was the name of it. Um, so these three. So the Kajo is currently reporting about 37 counts per minute. The Therapy is reporting 0 0.19 um, microsieverts an hour. And this one is just a colour-coded one. But, you know, it's in the green. So what we're going to do is put the UVC bulb in. I'm going to put it in where I normally have my softbox when it's set up. Um, so that's basically just in a big foil kind of wrapped thing here. So I'm going to replace the normal bulb I use in here with the UVC bulb. Um, and then we're going to start the test. So just an important safety note, I'm not actually going to wear gloves for this. UVC will burn the skin. Um, but I want to see if brief exposure in a video would actually cause a burn or not. Um, and yeah, be very careful if you play about with UVC lights because UVC can potentially cause a lot of damage, hence why I'm protecting my eyesight in this video. So I'll just get the lamp set up and then we're good to go. I'm also going to um, angle the camera so it's not dile uh, directly looking at the light because I'm not sure if UVC would cause any damage to the camcorder and because this is a bit, you know, an expensive camcorder I don't want to risk damaging it for a test like this. So just to show you from another angle what's going to happen there's the bulb, there's the three Geiger counters I'm going to put my thing down in a minute and flip the switch um, and then I'm just going to move the camera to a different angle so it's not looking directly at the light so let's get ready to start the test. You should start hearing if the Geiger counters start ticking faster than normal Right, so, here we go. Let's find where that switch is. Or the softbox. There we go. Right. And that's on. I can see a ghostly green glow from under this, but that's about all I can see. Right. I can smell the ozone already, so let's see. I can't actually read the displays on these. But are they ticking any faster than normal? I'm just going to try holding some of them directly closer to the tube. Oh, yep. There we go. Let me see with this one, if I just look away and raise that. 850 counts per minute, bloody hell. Hopefully that's visible where I'm holding it. 850 CPM. It's gone down to 580 now. Let's put him back under. What's this one saying? This is saying a normal amount of microsieverts, 0.18. And what does the bareg look like? That looks normal at the moment. So the Kajo is definitely registering something. Some of them certainly seem to be ticking a bit faster than normal. But anyway, I think that will conclude the test for my own safety of my eyes. Um, let's flick the light off. If I can find the switch. Alright, there we go. So, let's open that back up. I can pull the welding hood off now because the UVC lamp is switched off. Right, hopefully when I held those up you could see the readings. But, yeah, the Kajo was the only one that went high. That went to a 1,003 counts per minute, which is very high. Uh, what's that in microsieverts? Oh, I forgot to actually have the beep on 6.64. So, um, quite a lot higher than background. So, whether or not this is artificially reporting from that, I don't know. 
or whether or not. So basically, just to explain the science of this for those of you that don't know, um, you have UVA lighting, UVB lighting, and UVC lighting, and UVX, I believe. UVA is the normal kind of UV that's used in sort of black light type applications. UVB is used in sunning beds, I believe, sort of tanning beds. And UVC is a germicidal type one, the one I've got plugs in there. UVC crosses into the X-ray region of light, um, or sort of energy. So it would make sense that some X-rays were produced from a UVC lamp, although it should be very, very low amounts, because um, basically, you know, it's basically where they only cross over for a tiny amount, so it'd be very soft X-rays. But that's fascinating. Right, the Kajo is definitely dropping back down to normal now, so I can confirm it was something to do with the lamp setting it off. So whether or not something to do with the energy from the lamp falsely affected it, I don't know. The other Geigers didn't seem to really register much. I think they tick slightly higher than normal, but not enough to be measurable. So, there you go. This is pretty inconclusive. Um, I'll find out tonight if the welding helmet did its job and protected my eyes from burning. Um, as I said, it just was a very faint green through there. So, um, I doubt we can tell if there's been damage to my eyes yet. Um, and we'll also see later on if my skin starts peeling off my hands um, from that brief exposure to the UVC. They don't smell like burnt pork, at least, so um, there's that. But anyway, hope you found this interesting. As I can smell a lot of ozone in the air, though, because of the bloody UVC. Um, but, yeah, hopefully this has been an interesting video for people. Um, sadly, it's a bit inconclusive. At least one of the Geigers definitely went much higher than background uh, due to the UVC. But whether or not that was something else interfering it to do with, I don't know, like some sort of electrical circuit type thing, I don't know. The others, I think, chirped a bit faster than normal, but nothing that would really stand out. But anyway, there you go. Um, I can always try this test again with other Geiger counters. If it's the ones on the wand, I can actually much safely, you know, safely do it, because I can essentially go around the corner, flick the lamp on, flick the Geiger on, and um, see if there's any measurements coming through that way. But yeah, UVC, quite an interesting thing. And just to double confirm it, the Kajo, if I go back to counts per minute, is back at, you know, 30-40. You'd expect 30 to 60 counts per minute as a background number, pretty accurately, but certainly not anything as high as um, that. So tell you what I'm going to do, just before I end the video, let's get the therapy and the um, this one out of the way. And what I'm just going to do is pop this back in here next to the lamp. Um, I'm going to see if I can get the camera at an angle where it can see both, and I'll just risk it for time being. Put the welding hood back on, and let's have another quick see of how fast it beeps. Right, so hopefully you can see at the moment it's showing background levels of radiation. Let's put my visor down and flick on this lamp again. There we go. And then, let's see what the beeps are like. I might be actually able to look at the camera viewfinder. 41. Yeah, I can look at the camera viewfinder while using the welding hood, so, um, it should be quite interesting. 52, so it's climbing. If the screen goes off, I'll put it back on again. 52, 68, so he's climbing again. 65, so that's not actually climbed any higher. Let me just refresh the screen on it. Is that gone back on? Yeah. Seventy-nine. Let me just wave him around a little bit. There we go. Ah, so it seems to be almost like beta radiation how it's coming through. And that's interesting. Um, let's go back to micro sievert, so let's just... Um, what's that number saying, micro sievert? It's interesting how we beeping like that and it not... Let me just try the Kajo with the beta tube open. Oh, that's my thing snapping shut. Right, I'm essentially doing this blind because, um, oh, the Kajo, sorry. Therapy. See, nothing's registering on that. That's very interesting. But this guy. 
it's still going to do it. It was beeping like crazy when um, 919 counts per minute. Yeah, listen to that. That's insane, but... Is that light fucking with the GM tube in it somehow? I, I really don't know. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. I'm not going to risk damaging my eyesight anymore with this test, um, as you can see. So, hope you found it interesting.